Greetings from Montevideo, Uruguay. In today's video, we're taking you on a food adventure to Mercado del Puerto. This is Montevideo's meat market, which features numerous restaurants all under one roof, and all of them specializing in grilled meat. Cheers! Cheers. To a great asado here in Montevideo. For lunch, we'll be trying chorizo, blood sausage, flank steak, prime rib, and a salad to try and keep things healthy. I'm gonna try the salad. Very, very colorful. We'll also watch our food be cooked right in front of us because that's how things work here. So get ready for a lot of meat. Now let's head into the market. They're big portions, huh? Yeah. We're sharing all the meat so we can each sample the different cuts. Well, good afternoon guys and welcome to Mercado del Puerto, market of the port here in Montevideo. We have come here for lunch because this isn't your average marketplace. It's not where you come to buy your fruits and veggies under a covered market. Instead, they have a whole bunch of restaurants specializing in parrilla, parrilla, meat on your, the grill. It's one right next to the other one. You yes. don't know, you actually don't know which one to choose. There are so many and they all have the uh, exposed uh, grill yeah. with the meat and the flames and the wood and the... I mean, it's uh, intimidating, you know? Yes. <laughs> so we chose this one, it's called uh, Don Garcia. Yeah. That has a good reviews. And uh, yeah, we ordered our uh, meat already. We're gonna have a, a steak. And then we're gonna have another one that is made out of flank steak. Uh, it comes with a french fries, with a salad, we're gonna have a chorizo, morcilla, blood which sausage. is a blood sausage, wine, um, we are set to start the race. And another thing to mention is that here they don't cook with charcoal, they use wood, like wood. logs of wood. While I was filming he was tossing the logs into the fire, Yeah, it was yeah. pretty impressive. And then the ambers fall, is that what yeah. you call it? The ambers, the ambers they use the ambers. So we've got a great meal yeah. ahead of us. Also wanted to mention we had a nice walk over here. Yes, we We're did. staying near by the main square. Plaza Independencia. Yeah, and then you go through this, it's it's almost like a portal and then you're in yes. a pedestrian area. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's a very uh, large uh, pedestrian area. It's huge, eh? Yeah. yeah. And then you also have uh, the walk along the, uh, the river. Yeah. It's La called uh, La Rambla. Yes. And those are uh, kilometers you can walk along the, uh, the water's edge. Yeah. So if you like to walk, this is a good place to do it. Yeah, you know? exactly. And that pedestrian street was just lined with businesses, yes. outdoor vendors selling all yeah. kinds of different things. Lots of souvenirs palm, if you want to buy stuff to palm take Palm trees, it has a bit of a tropical vibe. We are starting with our appetizer. We got a sausage, a chorizo, and a blood sausage, a morcida. So we cut those into pieces to share a little bit until the mains get here. And let me tell you, the chorizo is very, very good. Very tasty. Mm -hmm. The skin is crispy. So nice. And then we got the different sauces for when yeah. the other meats, the grill comes. Mm -hmm. We got a complete salad over here. Yeah. And we got our jar of wine. And we can't forget the morcida. Yeah. You can eat it with bread. It's yeah. kind of like a blood pudding, right? Yeah. So you can just spread it on bread. You can get it sweet or salty. We got the salty kind. Yeah. My dad eats this. I eat it too. Sam eats it too. I'm the only one that's Why don't you eat it? Oh, it's just blood. It's a blood milkshake. <laughs> it's a blood pate. <laughs> That's how you do it. Yeah, that is how you do it. That is how you do it. A good start, and uh, yeah. the the star of the show is yet to arrive. That'll be yet here soon. Come. Yet to come. All right. So since you guys tried the the sausages over here, I'm gonna try the salad. It's like a great salad. Very very colorful. Yeah, it's the completa. Complete. The completa. Yeah. So what ingredients do we have in there? Well, we've got beetroot. We've got lettuce, carrots, onions, egg, tomatoes. Lettuce. Lettuce, it's got a bit of everything here. Very colorful, it's like Very a colorful. rainbow salad. It's like 
the mixta is a typical one, and the completa has the extra ingredients like the beetroot, yeah. the egg, and uh, some of those other things that make it really tasty. Yeah, the mixta is only three ingredients. It's yeah. like tomato, lettuce, onion. So when, when we go for the completa. When you're eating this this much uh, meat, it's good to have some some veggies to go along with it. Don't worry, we also got fries, guys. Oh, wow. Two orders of fries. Two orders? Yes, oh, it happened. Gosh. It just happened. We're gonna walk out of here. Bull belly's bulging. Mm. Excellent salad. Cool. Cheers. Cheers. To a great asado here in Montevideo. Indeed. Indeed. Indeed we will. House wine is decent. It's very good. Yeah, it's a house wine. It's not a reserve, yeah. but for this uh, kind of uh, meat, it'll do. It'll do. You it'll have do. Uh, it purpose. Part of the experience at this market is that you can watch your food be grilled right in front of you. Our next two cuts of meat were the vacío, or flank steak, and the bife ancho, which is known as prime rib or ribeye. Alright, the star of the show has arrived. We've got the, the main cuts of meat. What do we have over here? We're going to start with the vacío. Okay. We're sharing all the meat, so we can each sample the different cuts. Mm. They're big portions, huh? Very nice. Very nice. Very moist, very tender, mm. you know? Now let's try the beef ancho. This is the other one. Mm, nice and pink. Mm. This one is so tender. It's like butter. Yeah. It's like eating cutting butter. <laughs> like it you melts know? in your mouth. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Very good. Very Both good, huh? Yeah, mm -hmm. they're both highly recommended. And we have fries to go with them. Man, we got our work cut out to eat all this, huh? Yeah. yeah. Yes, so we better get to it. Let's get to it. just finished a delicious lunch at the market Don Garcia very good meat yeah very good meat. we finished everything nothing left not a crumb left on the plate <laughs> we took care of it all we devoured that we devoured that and we wanted to mention the price that was just a little over 2100 Uruguayan pesos which came to 56 US dollars. Yeah. Perhaps a bit pricier than what you'd pay for steak in Argentina, but it was very good quality and I mean, it oh, fed man. Three we ate people, a lot. Three hungry adults. Two orders of fries, wine, yeah. a big salad, bread, yeah, it's actually sausages. Double the amount that it would cost you in Argentina. What did you guys think of the market itself? It's nice, it's well prepared because yeah. uh, it has uh, souvenirs, uh, shops, it's got a lot, a lot of restaurants. Mm -hmm. And everything is meat or uh, seafood. Yeah. Right? yeah. So here, no, no, yeah. ve no vegetarian, no pastas, you know, stuff like that. They're not. It's not their main thing in this area. Let's yeah. say, you know. And I will say that some of the restaurants seem more touristy than others, and they may be a bit more aggressive in terms of trying to yeah. lure you over. We chose one kind of like not in the center of the market, more Out of near the way. An entrance where it was mostly locals eating. Yeah. So and the food was fantastic. It was great. So it was great. Food. And no one was pushy. No like they came, pushy. took our order, and like yeah, it was yeah. just very good service. Yeah. Yeah. So we'd recommend that place. For yeah. sure. Don Garcia. Don, Don Garcia. Garcia. So I guess we're gonna slowly make our way back. Yes. And um, we're gonna have a maybe a little dessert after a siesta, huh? Oh, it's really, good. it's really warm right now. It's yeah. cooking, man. The sun is really heating. And we've got the meat sweats oh. on top of that. Yeah. hours have passed we are now back in the apartment having tea time tea time tea the red rose tea, tea. 
What what are we having here? I don't know. I think it's a mate. A herbal tea. What kind of tea is that? <laughs> Only in Canada. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we make the same jokes every time we talk about mm -hmm. tea in our house, okay? Mm -hmm. what? It's an old commercial from what, the, the 80s? Yeah, from Red Rose. Yeah. yeah. Most Red people Rose aren't tea. even going to get the joke. <laughs> yeah. It's an insider joke. It's an sure. insider yeah. joke. Only in Canada. Because oh. Red Rose tea was sold only in Canada. Yeah. And the royal family was sad because of that. No? Because it's so good. Yeah, they, they, they had the most ridiculous commercials. Yeah, it's it, so it's over the top. Joke. It's they not were, based they, on look it, look it up. Look it up on YouTube. You'll they're find on them. YouTube. On YouTube. But right. they're, they're so ridiculous that yeah. they're funny and, and they, they stick to you, you know? Yeah. When the guy uh, says, only in Canada, pity. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Anyways, we found a local pastry shop like a block and a half down the street, so we thought we would try some desserts since we didn't get enough calories today, clearly. We're having another 5,000. Another 5,000 here. Check. And first up, we found the national dessert or one of the most popular desserts here in Uruguay. This is called Postre Chaja. It's a sponge cake yeah. with cream meringue and it can be stuffed with peaches and strawberries or it can have dulce de leche this one has dulce de leche this one has dulce de leche yeah and yeah. then we have a coconut yeah like a macaroon macaroon yeah. and then we have two that are a milfeuille with a dulce de leche inside yeah and yeah they're very good the very the coconut one is like shaved coconut pure mm -hmm. coconut with the with the sugar you know it's very nice mm -hmm. And the other ones too, they're very, uh, very fluffy, you know? Mm -hmm. So Freshly made. Well, Freshly I'm not going to have supper, so this is my supper today. This That's it. Cake dinner. for dinner. That's it's it. It's afternoon tea and dinner. This is dinner. No, mm -hmm. no. It was Good. another great day here in Uruguay. First day really exploring Montevideo. Yeah, we've got two more. Mm -hmm. We're going to be able to do quite a bit while we're here. And tomorrow, we want to go in search of a dish called Chivito. But a sandwich form. We tried chivito in Colonia. Yeah. yeah. Now we want to try a chivito sandwich. Chivito means kid goat. Yeah. But the dish has no goat in it. It's a bit of mis a misnomer. Yeah. In, in these two countries, Argentina and Uruguay, it means the, a different thing. Because yeah. in Argentina, if you ask for chivito, they will bring you a barbecue goat, a goat. Uh, small goat, right? Yeah. But here in Uruguay, they don't have that. They call chivito this, uh, it could be a sandwich or it could be on its own, mm -hmm. but it's a piece of uh, steak, you know, like beef with a slice of uh, ham, mm -hmm. melted cheese. It's got bacon. Mm -hmm. I think it's got a fried egg on top. Yeah. It comes with French fries, with um, a potato salad, a Russian yeah. salad. They it's, call it. uh, it's called um, Macedonia. Okay. Macedonia yeah. salad and uh, a couple of other things yeah. so if you visit both both countries beware because in one country it means one thing and here in uruguay it means something totally different mm -hmm. okay so don't get confused when you order in the menu that was the day no that was the day that now we've day. got our work cut out for us all this sugar <laughs> we're so. gonna get electrified after we're gonna be climbing the walls with all the sugar. Sleep you know? all night. Yeah. Going to the clubs tonight? <laughs> <laughs> but okay, we'll, we'll eat it slowly. Yeah, it looks like we have good weather and um, yeah. we'll have a couple more episodes from Montevideo. So, yes, we you will. Know. We will see you soon. See you That's soon. it. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.